Hello and welcome everyone, this is One Mower Gaming and today we're going to be taking a look at the B500 Power Supply from Cooler Master. Alrighty, so let's check out the back first. As you can see, we've just got all the different connectors that the uh, power supply comes with there. Also has a little bit of information in different languages and stuff like that, uh, such as higher than 85% efficiency under typical operation, silent 120mm fan with intelligent f uh, fan speed control, green power design to meet 2013 ERP lot 6 and all new CE energy saving regulations, so good to know. Also multiple built-in protection systems such as OCP, OBP, OPP, OTP, SCP, Jeez, there's a lot of P's there. But uh, yeah, it's basically over current protection, over voltage protection, over power protection, and uh, that sort of stuff. So it's good to know that um, a pretty cheap power supply can provide all these different things. It's really good to see. So now let's take a look inside the box. As you can see, you get your um, your power connector thingy. You also get your manual there as well, and it's also just packaged up into nice uh, bubble wrap to keep it all protected, which is good to see. So there's the power, uh, the power supply itself, as you can see, nice black uh, design, has a nice feel to it as well. Um, that's all the cables and stuff inside the, in the case there. Um, keyed eye viewers will see that there is no motherboard in there. Now it's for a very good reason. Um, if you remember in my last video about uh, the MSI 970A, uh, motherboard I was a little bit concerned about how the uh, temperatures would go and um, on idle the temperatures were 80 degrees so I took the motherboard straight out and uh, that's currently for sale so I'm gonna get a new motherboard in there soon and uh, be able to hopefully get the computer back up and operational again so what I need from you is give me a, uh, a suggestion for a new motherboard and uh, we'll go from there also, the fan, the big 120mm fan, is facing downwards on the case, uh, meaning that it's drawing all its air from the underside of the case. Now, the reason for this is it does, uh, the case that I've got does um, feature a little dust cover at the bottom, so it's perfect. So I can uh, have my power supply facing down that way, no worries at all. Alrighty, just a final message before we finish up here. Um, I'd just like to say that if anyone is actually considering buying a 970A-G43 Plus motherboard from MSI, I wouldn't recommend buying one. Um, I've always been a fan of MSI and AMD, always have been, um, it's just what all my computers have always ran, so that's all I've really ever known. Um, so I've always stuck with the brand, um, but seeing that 80 degrees at idle, as soon as I turn my computer on, it's absolutely ridiculous. I not only checked uh, with the BIOS to see the temperature, but also with um, Specky, which does a lot of um, temperature monitoring and that sort of thing. And to see 80 degrees is just scary um, on a startup of a motherboard. So if you're going to buy this motherboard, you're going to want some serious cooling in your, in your case, and you need a fan right on the VRMs of your board there. Um, that board does have heat issues. Um, I didn't check before um, I bought it obviously because I didn't think there would be any issues um, but later on I did check and find out that yeah the VRMs do get quite hot so that's just something I wanted to say to anyone who's actually considering that board. Um, there's plenty of other MSI boards out there if you're sticking with the AMD uh, AM3 Plus socket, so um, mm -hmm. go with that. Um, I'm most likely now leaning to Intel, so we're going to have a little change of colour here from uh, Team Red to Team Blue, but um, we'll see as time goes on. Um, also, this power supply, great so far. Uh, it may only be a 500 watt power supply, but that's plenty for what we're going to do. And also it's 85% efficiency, which is just great for a uh, power supply that's only cost me 70 bucks. So that's just fantastic. Couldn't ask for any more. And um, 
That's just how ridiculous prices are in Australia for something as simple as a power supply being $70, whereas in America they can get them as cheap as 40, 50 bucks for you know a 600 watt power supply, 80 plus bronze. So yeah, just ridiculous how much computer parts are in Australia. But I suppose it's just how it goes. Anyway, guys, thank you ever so much for watching. That's today's video concluded. I hope you've enjoyed. If so, hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe and comment for what you want to see in a future video. Also, for what motherboard you want me to uh, take into consideration and possibly purchase for this build in the future. Righto, I'll catch you at the next one.